Welcome to this edition of the Weekly Dose, Challenge Your Perspective. This is Patrick Dare in Washington, D.C. I don't know what comes first. The syncophants are the leaders that appear to be narcissists. But what I believe is that these two feed each other. On the one hand, the syncophants have the self-interest. They have to self-preserve. Because without these leaders, they don't believe they would survive. And therefore, they have to protect these leaders at all costs. And the leaders themselves have the need for their egos to be massaged. You've heard of the story of the naked emperor. And everybody around them, around this emperor, not telling him that he's naked. He's been swindled and told by these tailors that he's wearing a cloth that nobody else can see, not even himself. And anybody that can see it is either stupid or don't, doesn't know what they're talking about. So the emperor walks around naked until a small child says, but, but he's naked, out of innocence. Now, we have seen in the community and in every successive administration, right from our first president, Kenyatta, to Moi, to Kibaki, and now to the current administration under President Uhuru. A very close knit of people whose sole purpose is to serve their interest by supporting whatever policies, however bad they seem to be. And with each administration, we've had scandals after scandals that have gone through and had very devastating effect on the economy. The Goldenberg, the Anglo leasing, and now the standard rail that is being built from Mombasa to Malaba. And those who dare question are driven out of town. They're the elephant in the room. They must be sponsored by somebody who is against the administration. Now, I believe that, that each administration must have people that are close to them, those that they can confide in, that would advise them. It's expected. And what I do not think is expected, and I know should not be expected, are people who will not face the leaders and tell them the hard facts, the things that these leaders probably may not want to hear, but which ultimately is the right decision. Even at the very height of what seemed to be democracy coming back and the promise of an inclusive society within the administration during the first Kibaki term, Kenyans had high hopes. But soon enough, there were these people that surrounded the president and formed a barrier, and all decisions that are made are made, I believe, not in the interest of the country, but in the interest of this one very important thing for syncophants, self-survival. They will run the country down because they have to preserve themselves. Because without those that they kneel before, they are nothing. They don't have the the character, the strong character 
to believe that they can survive without being a sycophant. And the net effect, probably, is that this continuous massage of the leader's ego make them narcissists. Now, fellow Kenyans, my perspective is that this is wrong for the community, for Kenya's democracy, for the development of our country, to put us in the world map as a country that is moving forward in democracy, in development, and everything else. Because what this does is encourage corruption at the highest level, does not encourage looking at things with a tooth comb and coming out with the best decision possible. At every level, not just at the top, the presidency, at every level, the political parties, we see people who surround the leaders of this party and just sing to their tune make bad decisions, but the more they seem to be close to these leaders, their, what we may call their, their power within this organization is enhanced. So there's this jostling about who becomes the closest. And with this time, wrong decisions are made and the society suffers for it. I hope Kenyans will wake up to this and vet their leaders very carefully in order for our country to move forward. This is my perspective what is yours? This is Patrick Dea in Washington, D.C., bringing you the weekly dose, challenge your perspective. Thank you.